Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. In this box right here, I have our latest humanoid robot from Thunder Tiger. That's right, dun dun dun, it's Robo Hero. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open it up and take a closer look. All right, so let's go ahead and take it out of the box. Now, right away, I'm gonna tell you, this is a presentable piece. It's a very high quality box, very gloss finish, and it's actually really, really cool to look at. So let's go ahead and look at the side. Now, this does say it's an app controlled and it consists of micro servos. Now, these servos are working at 4.8 volts, which is actually less than our previous robots. However, this is a very small robot, so I think it'll be fine. Now, let's go ahead and look at the back. Now, it does say it comes with an action editor, uh, app controlled voice recognition, now that's actually very different. We haven't seen that yet. Uh, micro servos, USB programming, Wi-Fi, as well as 17 access joints. Now that's actually more than the Alpha 1S. Now again, we said this is the app controlled as well as 270 degree uh, angles on each of the servos. That's actually a lot. And then here's the chip that allows you to do movements and actions. And then the, you can always edit and program your own moves and actions via the software or the app itself. Now this side here shows the dimensions of it, so we have the length, width, and the height. And then right here, once we open it, we actually get a sneak preview of the robot. Now this is very unique. I haven't seen any packaging like this so far. So on here it shows a different robot uh, in its different poses. And literally, this looks so cool. Now right here you do see a plastic sheet and kind of a transparent where you can actually see the robot itself and literally I can tell you this is a metallic finish. Now we haven't seen that yet either and this looks really cool. I cannot wait to open this and show you guys. Now in terms of the height itself this is actually 9 inches and that's actually half the size of the previous robots that we looked at. So this guy is really really tiny so I can't wait to open this up. So let's go ahead and cut this loose and take a closer look. Alright so let's go ahead and make a it right here. This will allow it to slide right open and then from there we'll go ahead and open it and just kind of slide out the robot. That's actually very very easy and a quick process. Now this here looks like almost like a cradle for it so that's really nice to see. Then let's go ahead and remove this cap here. Alright so let's go ahead and take out our robot. Wow right away I can tell you this guy is very light. And literally, I can tell that he has a very nice metallic finish. Uh, oh, it looks like he might be, a, he looks like a scuba diver actually. Oh, that's interesting. That does make sense then. Um, then, oh wow, so he actually has a joint in his head. So that's actually one of his servos right there. And then there's another one here, 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 down here, over here. So he actually has quite a few, so I can't wait to see how this guy moves. Now, uh, let's go ahead and just put him to the side for now, because we do have to charge him before we can use him. And then, ah, looks like we have, this might be the uh, charger kit. Uh, yes, that's true, okay. And then over here we have a quick instruction manual on how to start him up. So let's go ahead and charge this guy up and see how he performs. Alright, so the next step is to connect to the robot through our phone. Now this is through the robot's personal Wi-Fi. So we simply go ahead and connect to it. In this case, it is a TTREA76 Wi-Fi. After this, we can go ahead and open up the robot's uh, personal app, which is called Robo Hero. You can download this from the App Store as well as the PlayStation Store as well. Now, after this is connected, it should go into standby mode, allowing us to give it prompts. Now, the top portion here is our commands, so we can tell the robot to go forward, backwards, left, or right. And then the bottom ones are animations that we can go ahead and address as well. So let's go ahead and give that a go. All right, so now that we're all connected and he's in standby mode, let's go ahead and hit the backward button. And then let's hit the forward button. And then let's hit turn left. And then let's hear uh, move right. And then let's go ahead and try a few of his gestures. So let's go ahead and make him do a bow. And then let's do, a, it's called attention, so let's try that. <laughs> uh, then this here is pass. So he's kind of telling people, okay, let's go. <laughs> and then here is uh, balance. <laughs> this is strength. He's flexing. <laughs> this is warm up. Huh. 
<laughs> this is clap. Oh my gosh, you actually clapped. That's so cool. Uh, this is prey. I'm not sure what that was. Okay, then let's go ahead and try dance. <laughs> All right, and then this one here is stand up. So literally if you put them flat forward and then you hit the button stand up There you go, that's cool. And then uh, this is get up. So if I put them backwards Oh wow, look at that. And he's up. All right, so now that we have a better idea on how he works, let's go ahead and go into the power director. Now this here allows us to create our own actions. So I'm just gonna write anything there for now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on single or multiple servos at once. So for instance, if I wanna just do single and I just hit on say number 11, and then literally he's moving so I can go ahead and hit add, and then if I'm done with it, I can go ahead and play that. So I just made that action, that's so cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it just kinda gives you an idea on what else you can do, it's very easy. And literally, you can make multiple different animations and then you can save them and play them for <laughs> later. All right, so this right here kind of gives you an aspect on how tall he is compared to our, the previous robot that we reviewed, the bullet robot. Now, you can tell he's actually half the size of him, which is really funny to see. Almost looks like he's his kid. <laughs> All right, well, that gives you an idea of what Robo Hero is capable of. Now, granted, he's a little different than the bigger robots that we've seen earlier, but he does have a lot of similarities. For instance, he has the ability of creating custom animations as well as performing basic tasks, such as dancing or simply walking. Now in terms of the quality of itself, I would actually say it's very high, just because the amount of details that they put into this is very phenomenal, including the metallic finish, as well as all the different joints. Now I love the fact that the unique aspect of being able to maneuver his head, you don't see that in too many robots. Now some of the downsides would be similar to the slower servers, but for his size, I think it does compensate. Now other than that, if you had any questions or concerns, be sure to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Take care guys, bye bye!